right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting at a Seoul, South Korea, Lever, and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Ready. You ready to fight? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Nice one-two there. Dude, what a punch. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, collar tie. He is all about that left kick to the body. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's putting it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Just missed with the left there. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. 
Really good accuracy landing that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Head kick lands. Nice. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just missed with the straight left hand. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he's feeling it now. Nice combination there by Lee. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbows tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's a picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Ooh, big shot land. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, Superman punch lands. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Nice body kick. Clinch. Oh, nice elbow there in the clinch. Beautiful strike. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That nose isn't going to be able to take too many more as he doubles up on the jab. So good to watch MMA evolve and watch guys now fight behind the jab. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault, staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Slips that left hand. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. Gets tagged again on the inside. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for... Nice guillotine the tip here. He's attacking guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flute choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, real. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They beat in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, 
doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice straight punch. Single collar tie. Oh, Superman punch is true. Right on the button. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Nice diversity in the attack. Huge elbow land from the clinch. Lee's punch to the body is blocked, so no damage done there. So he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Straight punch land. Flush right hand is true. Oh, that's a good right hand. Head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. He's back to his spot, the clinch position. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Oh, single collar tie here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Again, they clinch. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. See if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, nice guillotine there. He might get a finish here. Oh, how about this as he jumps to side mount to try to counter the guillotine with a Von Flew choke. Oban St. Prue would be proud. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's attacking armbar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns into opposite direction, you throw your hook in, and you start looking to get a choke off. Counter punch attempt here, no good. Nice punch by Liz. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed 
This is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Able to check the high kick. Big hall punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Oh, like the thought there. Good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big punch land. Ooh. Slips. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the side. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise him. He did not disguise him. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended, as you would expect him to. He loaded up with that right hand, too. He's able to slip the left there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. One of the most important strikes of the clinch is this big body shot. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, both. Both landed. Connection with a punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past because his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Three minutes to go in round three. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Just miss with that right hand. Liver kick. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He just seems much more confident and comfortable on the feet. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch man over the top. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice right hand. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Just misses with the jab. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice looping punch. He throws the right hand there. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice elbow. All right, single collar tie now. Right hook to the body. Oh! Oh, straight right. Position. 
position here. Oh! Didn't like that left hand. How about those five minutes? All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, overhand left. No good. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Blocks the shot. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Right hand landed. Tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he 